Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are playing Assassin's Creed number 3. We find ourselves in this barren wasteland that is the frontier, where people are calmly fishing off the dock in the snowstorm. So, today, we are going to go through and do some collecting. Um, we have some trinklets left. Peg leg trinkets. So, we are 71% complete. And, basically, I think if I am correct in remembering this from previous episodes... We just have the trinkets in the front here to take care of. So we're going to do that today. We're going to start here on the dock, probably make our way up and around and then back down and then over here. And it looks like we made it all the way to this one, but we just never grabbed it. And we've apparently ridden past this one too. And you know, <laughs> so... I should actually mark on the map where the trinklets are, because if I do not, I will never find them. Oh, and there's some guards. Alright, let's kind of go this way so we don't irritate them. Um, we should probably get the assassin horse, too. Because it is a little bit slow to just sort of wander around in the uh, in the snow when it's deep like this cuz Connor's apparently got short legs or something maybe maybe we can just kind of steal a horse and no one will notice yeah that sounds like a good idea right what's this fur trade i didn't know there was a general store hello my friend well, what can i do for you Manir? Oh, you are not my friend. What do we have to sell? I wanna... Ooh, I don't wanna sell the bear grease. But I wanna sell everything else. Let's go through and sell items one at a time because... Okay. How do I do that? How do I work this? Sold the bear claws. Sold. Ooh, I shouldn't sell the bear pelt. You know what? I'm not going to sell anything. I don't think I need to buy anything unless there's new items to be had. The Hessian axe. Uh, no. We have some, maybe some small weapons. Whew. I don't like any of those. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing good there. What about normal weapons? Nah. We all of it's losing stuff. Ooh. To buy or sell? But I do want to check on the firearms. Oh, okay. So there's nothing new there either. What about outfits? Anything good? Black outfit and red accents. That's the one we currently are wearing. Brown and red, white and red, light blue. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want that. Uh, let's go to our accounting book and let's go visit Miriam here. And we will fill up our inventory of stuff to sell because, you know, why not? It's a great time to sell. Especially right now we'll, where we're just sort of going to be out hunting for some trinkets and we'll be right here in case something happens with the convoy um we probably ooh the naval convoys are still full for 16 more minutes all right so we will just load up our land convoys now one thing i uh noticed here is we can send things to different people by pressing up and down on the uh, control stick there, because apparently I never paid attention to that before. But even doing that, it looks like as far as it goes, the fur trade, Hancock store number five is 
you know, it's the first one and it's still the most lucrative to sell your fur at. So we're just going to choose him. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we've sell, sold him so much uh, pelt in the past that he's just kind of like, Ah, hey, you know what? You're, you've been a good supplier. I'll pay some extra price for you. Yeah. Let's go with it. Off you go, convoy. Next. We have a couple more bear pelt for you. And then we're going to move into the beaver pelt. And not the wood. I don't... No, not barrels, not cotton! Beaver! <laughs> there we are, more beaver pelt. I should just, like, go through and purge my inventory of everything else. So I don't have to just keep searching through it. I can just literally go and hit the A button until it's time to sell all of this, you know, actually send the thing out. Alright. Alright. Do we are done. So our convoys are gone. And now let's get going. Come on, Connor. You can move faster than that. We need to find a horse. Uh, there's some British. Let's head this way. Okay. Um, so apparently there is our no horses randomly available in that town so we're just gonna run over to here and then after we get this trinket we will catch ourselves a horse somewhere redcoats are guarding that barn I wonder why I feel like they're probably up to no good if they're guarding that barn <laughs> That Scotsman isn't wearing any pants, and it's snowing. I bet that feels good on his legs. <laughs> the, oh dear. The question is, does he have high socks on? Because that might help him out a little bit, but... Uh-oh. Hey there. So, whoa! What are you doing? I was gonna leave you alone, but you had to charge me, and now, now you're dead. Alright, so, this, this thing is apparently underground somewhere, or maybe it's not. Yeah, it's 13 meters below me. So... What is twinkling? I hear like this twinkling noise. There's, It's either telling me I'm on the right track. No, it's a feather. Okay. So we can climb up here. And while we are at it, we will grab the feather. Alright. And I need to somehow find my way down into like a... I guess a cave or something? But but I don't know where there is a cave. Shh. I'm looking for a cave. I don't have time to deal with you, Mr. Elk. Hmm. I feel like I'm too far away. But maybe that's what they want me to think. What's this? Just a half-constructed ha hut? Uh, Ubi Ubisoft. I don't. I don't think that fire's working right. Ooh, wolves! Wolves! Lots of wolves. I don't, I don't see them. But, that looks like a cave. Hey guys, come here. Okay. So we got one. We got two. Are we done? I think we're done. Okay. 
So we'll get ourselves Yama. some pelts. And now the the cave, right over here. I hope this is the right cave. It would suck if it wasn't. You know, this just a random cave and it doesn't contain the trinket we're looking for. Alright, so we got the Troy's Woods trinket. Is there another entrance or exit to the cave? Yes. Huh. Well, at least... Oh, it's behind a waterfall. Of course it is. Of course it is. We're right over here. That's awesome. Okay. So next... Where is the next trinket that we need to get? Right over here. Uh, and... Well, with... Well, we're in the inventory things. I just thought about this. We should send some people out. Stefan, and where is our little level three? She can go out there. All right. Send the next batch of peoples to New Hampshire. Uh, like you. And then level, level three. Good. And then we need some nice easy ones. All right. And Duncan and random Cossack. Good. So our people are going. We're going to get our horse call. All right. Horse has been called. Now we switch back to our pistol. Let's actually take and put the horse call on number three. Hey there, assassin horse. Yep. Come on. You can run. I know you can. Ooh, there's treasure in that there barn. That's what those redcoats are guarding, of course. I wonder if I can hunt elk from horseback. That seems like an epic challenge waiting to happen. <laughs> Shh. There's some wolves. Alright, go. Alright, now we need to run this way a little bit till we get down from the high places and we can get back on our horse. This might not work like I had hoped it would. All right, Connor, I need you to, I need you to, you know, find your way up into a tree, please. Hmm. Apparently, we cannot get into any of these trees. Maybe this one. No. How do you do it? Right here. This one we can climb into. I shouldn't waste my time with these stupid feathers, but I'm going to. So there. Uh. <laughs> Alright. So. Now maybe we should just, like, follow the trees. And the trees will lead us to the next, um, trinklet. Because this is definitely a lot faster than running through the ground. Not faster than horseback, if we, you know, could get our horse. There's a river right there, so we're going to cross the river. Or maybe we... No, I don't think we have to cross the river. So we'll just call our horse... Hey there, I like how you just appeared out of literally thin air. And we're going to go... Go look for the trinket. Come on, you can run faster! Faster, horse! Faster! I feel like I'm gonna get stuck. Yeah, I'm, I've already climbed onto, like, a cliff here. So I'm gonna be stuck and unable to get down, I think. Okay. So, we got the trinket from Valley Forge. 
Next on our list is... Do we want to do this one next? Yeah, because I, I think we should do this one, and then we should take the long, long trek up here, and we can just go back around. That's, that's gotta be it. That'll do it. So, well, <laughs> that was quite the jump, horse. Thank you. Uh, we can, we need to cross the bridge. And if we cross, the, after we cross the bridge, we can take a left, maybe like right here, go through some trees. Oh no, water. Uh, this, this is an interesting place. This is where we uh, took out Edward Braddock as Haytham. Oh, huh. we came from the perf- Okay. Con Connor, Connor, really? You can't go like, you know, 20 minutes before you have to shoot something. Well, that's going to be a damaged pelt, and it's not going to get us... Yeah, it doesn't give us very much money. Alright. I like how there's snow all the way into this cave here. Alright. We got the trinklet... Connor's gonna freeze to death or get himself pneumonia or something. Let's actually keep our horse call selected because maybe that way we won't, you know, we won't decide to randomly shoot some deer. Who are these guys? Just out outdoor doing some woodworking. Now, I feel like we are basically on our our lands here, on the Mohawk lands. Uh, why won't you turn? Follow the road, horse. This really isn't the terrain for a horse here. We have, however completed some contracts and we should get out of the way Mr. Deer. We should go through and reset them in just a second here. I feel like we are gonna be stuck. We need to go... Alright, get off the horse, Connor, please. You are useless in this terrain, so I'm just going to leave you there and make my way on foot. We need to go over to here. And I think this is the trinklet that we found at the very beginning of the game. Um... And it was, like, way down a cliff somewhere, and we couldn't actually reach it. So I think we're gonna have to, like, come from a another direction or something. This might be the very direction we need to be from. Um, it looks like there's something over there that we might be able to climb on. Yeah, let's, let's do that, because I don't know that we can get it any other way. Unless there's something right around this corner. No, no there is not. So let's climb our way up the rock face here. Some gold. Can I, I don't think I can climb any higher from this side. Hmm. No. No, I can't. Um. 
but what I should be able to from right here, I think. Yeah, we've got a good hand, good set of handholds right here, and then it looks like they continue, and we can just climb right up here. And then right around to that crack in the wall. Alright. Now I can't remember. I think we actually came this way in the beginning of the game. Like we jumped across from the tree or something. Um, climb up here, please, Connor. And then we need to do the split jump thing, and gotcha. So, I think we're going to find when we go around this little bend here. Yeah, we got to climb up. And then the trinklet is down here. 20 meters down. The question is, can I climb down there? Uh, I don't think so. What about jumping? I don't think jumping's gonna work, but what's the worst that can happen? Go, Connor! Oh, jumping worked. No. Apparently we have a fallen friend. We have the other end of the, uh, the cavern here. How do you even get up here? I don't know how I was supposed to know to get up here, but I'm glad we could have just, we could just jump off the cliff because it makes things so much easier. And now we shall dive into the ice cold water. And lucky for us, the next trinklet is not that far away. Only 120 meters. But this one looks like it's also underground. Ugh. So we're going to have to find, like, a, another mine shaft or something here. 60 meters down. Maybe, though, maybe we can just, like, climb over here. No, Connor, go... Oh, don't do that. Get up there. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, let's see if we can, like, climb up this hill. And if it goes down on the other side, I would bet that's where the mine shaft is. Maybe. Like, right here. Yes! That is awesome. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. I have special senses for finding these things. Okay, so we've got the next pig leg trinket. What do we have? We have two more. Get that one there. We'll get this one, and then we'll get the other one. While we're here, we should probably stop at the frontiersman's camp because I don't know when the next time we're going to be out here is. Assassin horse, where are you? Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to run pretty much straight there. I'm not sure how that's going to work because horses do not like really steep cliffs, which we're, we're kind of on right now. Oh, but then there's the Frontiersman's camp. Look for clues. Huh, I see a dead Frontiersman. Okay. Oh, wolves. So... So does this mean that the Frontiersman... 
Frontiersman. What was this object? Oh, oh, I remember this. The Frontiersmen said that they were ambushed by someone. I, th I can't remember. Some of our native friends. Is that a leopard? Oh, it's a bobcat. Okay. Cool. So they, the Frontiersmen said they were ambushed by some of the natives, and I don't think that that's true. I think they lied to us. Oh, uh, get up there. Now, we need to head down somehow, and we need to make our way over to the next trinket. Goodbye, Mr. Elk. I will leave you alone if you leave me alone. Deal? Ooh, that's a... It's a lot of wolves, and they don't care about the deer anymore. Let's just run away. And cry to ourselves ever so softly. Now, there's got to be a... Oh, we're stuck in the trees. There's got to be, like, another cave somewhere right around here because you know has to be a cave uh but where lexington okay there it is ha 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 this looks like it's somebody's cave not just a random cave out in the middle of the wilderness it's owned by whoever owns this piece of proper tie right there. Um, and I believe that leaves us with one trinklet. Now, let's check our DNA real quick here. Before I go to the collectibles sequence. Clubs. Collectibles. 96%. So, 96 almost sounds like that could be the last of them. Uh, we were at, I think, 76 when we started, so it's possible. Now, is this one going to be underground also, and we need to go find the cave? Or is this one going to be in a nice, easy place for us to reach? Uh-oh. The British are coming! The British are coming! Run away, please. I don't feel like stabbing... Okay. If you attack me, I will stab you. Yeah, he's gonna leave me alone, so we're good. And we have the final trinklet. And... Oop. I meant to go to my messages, but... Sure, whatever. Well, we're right here. Let's let's send out some more people on some missions here. 90% and a level 3 assassin, and there we are. What are we doing in New Hampshire? Cadet. Alright. Ooh, 85%. That's probably not going to work well, because it seems like whenever... Whatever I send them out with less than uh, 90%, they die. <laughs> 100%. Awesome. Great way to get experience there, guys. Now, I meant to go to my data, not database, the DNA tracker, and just verify with our collectibles sequence thing here we have all of the trinkets. Yes, we do. So, now that we have collected all of them, we will make our way to the harbor master at the homestead. Because we have somebody, Mr. Pegleg himself, who wants to talk to us. Hmm. All right. Hello there, Pegleg. What's up? 
This is the first time we've talked to him. What I do think. I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of, what are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewhere and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a captain, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest and swag all over the frontier. Yeah, I know. We got it all. All right. So now we can just interact with him and give him some what trinkets. What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. That's worth a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Pegleg. Got some more? Let's have a look, then. More keepers. Good on you. I'd say that's worth another letter. Okay, cool. And then What's he here's... What's time? Let me see. Let me see. Here's the next a letter. A veritable bounty. Shiver me timbers. That'll learn you one of these scripts to be sure. And but that should again? be the final one. What do you got for me? Blow me or... You've earned the last of these blasted things. Be sure to let me know what you find, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we have got all the trinklets, and we have finished with him. I think we have fully upgraded our ship, too. I can't remember. Uh, yes, we have. All right, so... Now that we have acquired all of the letters with the scraps of stuff, um, that gives us new missions. We have the Dead Chest's Treasure, and then the Mad Doctor's Castle, and Fort Wilcott, and finally the Ghost Ship. So we get some of those. We've got a couple of uh, Templar missions, too. French involvement. We've got a couple of these contracts here also. So we should probably go through and liberate Lewisburg also. That way we can sell our stuff up in Lewisburg for the highest profit and such. Yep. So next time when we return, we will do something with the naval contracts. We will most likely... Uh, at least do the two Lewisburg missions, and then I assume one of the Trinket missions? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Assassin's Creed number three. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.